Welcome back to your weekly giddy up. Today we have a lot to talk about. First off, let's start with theater kids. Last week they went to their state competition where they had a lot of people play superior. Here I have a list that I will read off for you. Evan Infantino, Muscon Capilla, Parker Gibbons, Daniela Vasquez, Holiday O'Brien, Stephen Heinrich, Kind Prine, Anya Mikesell, Catherine Esadio, and Kevin Skirkirti. So, congrats to everybody who plays Superior this week. I hope we see you guys soon. If you're watching this on Friday, then that means uh, French Club's Monet Eliminade event is today after school. All the prices and info will be right here. Make sure you go and support them. It's always nice to paint. If you're a junior, that means you just took the, uh, the ACT test this Tuesday. Hope you did well. You're one step closer to graduation. If you need to take it again, no big worry. A lot of people do. Just make sure you take uh, ACT classes or get one of those ACT books to help you prep for the test, and you'll do better next time. Speaking of graduation, seniors, make sure you order your cap and gown now while the prices are still low at around $48. In the future, they will go up to around $70. And if you ask me, that's a complete ripoff. It's something you'll only wear once, but you'll remember forever. So make sure you get them now while they are still cheap. Also, if you haven't already ordered your yearbook, make sure you do so now. They are $85. Talk to the bookkeeper if you are interested in buying one. There are only 400 copies, so make sure you buy one. Especially if you're a senior, you're going to want to remember your last year of high school. I still need to get both of those. I'm slacking. Good luck, Trevor. You're going to be paying $70 for a cap and gown. All right. This one's free. <laughs> this week, we have a nice little cult highlight featuring uh, one of our counselors, Miss Danielson. I think you should check it out. High school, I'm one of the five counselors here. Uh, currently, my caseload is working with 11th and 12th grade IB students that are here specifically for the IB career program or IB diploma program. Next year, I'll be taking on freshmen through seniors, all of the kids that are here on an IB variance. I am involved in proctoring tests, I'm involved in helping to build master schedule, I am involved with lots of parent meetings. I have two kids at home. I wonderful life, wonderful family, um, I love taking them to play their own sports and do their own activities, and I've got an awesome family so I love visiting with them. I had to explore kind of my interests and I was a coach at the time and I loved working with kids so I decided school counseling would be the route for me and I tried it out and it's, I just loved it from the, the first day I started. you get dressed in the dark? Because <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't match, I don't get it. You look like the cat from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> so this past weekend we had our daylight savings time, so everybody lost an hour of their day. Personally, I lost the hour that I decided to do homework, so... That was pretty bad. Yeah! <laughs> All right, fine. So yeah, we have a nice little sports support from Bryson Parker. I think you should look at that too. Let's see it. I'm Bryson Parker and here's your sports support. Today we have an interview with the Shields Athlete of the Week. Congratulations to Buddy McDonald and Mega Espins. Uh, I play, I run cross country, I wrestle, and I swim. I play tennis, basketball, and I run track. That uh, means that our coaches nominate us. They vote for us to be that we have good grades. And we get a gift card for 50 bucks. And our name's on the radio. Well, I guess I'm a big part in school. I um, play varsity sports. I'm an IB. And I'm part of the community of the clubs on campus. Uh, same here. I have an IB. Uh, I'm captain for every sport I did, the coaches just like me. If you want to be in the sports support, send us your sports highlights at hashtag GiddyUp and hashtag WHSports. Now we have schedules for these spring sports. That's been your sports support, back to you Eddie Trevor. So congratulations to Mega and Buddy, they were both great athletes, both amazing students. Let's hope they can keep it up in their college life. I want to give a quick shout out to both the swim team and the track team. They both had their first meets this past week, and I know they did very well. So congratulations to both of them. Hope to see you some more great meets throughout the year. 
We also want to give a quick shout out to Brian Vega. He's one of our uh, Colts Giddy Up crew, and he's on the swim team as well. He did very well. Good job, Brian. So this past weekend, I went over to watch Captain Marvel, the latest installment in the MCU. So I'm going to talk about my thoughts on it. So first, let's talk about those pros. So I thought the chemistry between Nick Fury and Carol Danvers was quite excellent. It was really funny and enjoyable. I really didn't see the plot coming. It was very unexpected, and I hope that everyone who watches it enjoys it. I think it'll be a little bit surprising to even the hardest comic book fans out there. The movie had amazing CGI. Samuel L. Jackson was de-aged, and it was amazing about after five minutes of watching, you totally forget that that's not even what Samuel L. Jackson looks like today. It's not? It's not. He actually is 70 years old. Did you know that? Really? 70 years old. 70 years old. He looks like that. He looks great. But unfortunately, every movie has its cons, so let's talk about those real quick. So the first thing that I wanted to mention is there were no memorable fight scenes in the movie. The first fight scene of the movie was stuck out more than the rest, but there was just something missing there. And to add to that, some of the music choices were a little odd at times, and they didn't quite fit the theme of the movie. And last but not least, the biggest flaw in the movie, I think, it was just missing a little direction. I think there was just a little too much going on in the movie. But by the end of the movie, I did enjoy it. It was great. I recommend everyone watch it, especially if you're an MCU fan, especially if you want to know what the deal is before Avengers Endgame. Do you, do you have to see it uh, in order to understand Endgame, do you think? I don't think you have to watch it to understand Endgame, but Captain Marvel seems to be playing a big role in the next movie, so I recommend everyone watches it to understand her story and what her character is all about. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so that's just about all we have for you today on this weekly giddy up. We hope you had a great time. We hope you learned something new. And make sure you smash that like button. May all your favorite bands stay together and we'll see you next week.